Have you got kids? I bet you love them more than anything else in the world. You're supposed to. We're genetically programmed to care about them above all else. But have you ever just occasionally wanted to... Now, don't get me wrong. I would never condone any kind of violence towards anyone, especially children. But they can drive you fucking bananas, can't they? They can be self-centered, narcissistic little monsters who don't seem to care about anyone but themselves. Not my kids, of course. They're perfect little angels. Now, I get it. Children, especially at very, very young ages, are naturally self-interested. This isn't a negative trait, but actually a part of their development. They're in the process of discovering their individual identity and exploring the boundaries of the world. This focus on self helps them learn basic skills, express their needs and establish a sense of security and self-confidence. But as they grow up, how do we as parents guide these self-interested sociopaths to develop a community-centric attitude? And how does this relate to who we are and how we can become better leaders ourselves? Well, I reckon my mate Ziggy has the answer. When I was about 30, not very long ago, I was an egotistic Edgar, a selfish Sally, a narcissistic Ned. I was a rock star and a cowboy, and you better believe it was all about me. You see, I hadn't really matured. I didn't really understand the value of social interaction, cooperation, or empathy. To be honest, I was quite unhappy and felt alone and had little to no direction. Then one day, it all changed. I heard a quote by Zig Ziglar about the laws of reciprocity. Zig Ziglar was a well-known American author, salesman, and motivational speaker who said, You can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. And that's when I made a decision. I told myself, I'm going to become the most helpful person on the planet for digital agency owners, and I have no idea how I'm going to make money. And slowly, things began to change. Now, the law of reciprocity isn't a hard and fast law in the way that physical laws are. It's more a guideline for human behavior that tends to hold true. But I started to meet more and more people who I could help. And so then this became my entire marketing and product strategy. Networking became easy. My community exploded. And once I'd built trust with my audience, I began making training courses. And by helping as many as I could and simply providing excellent customer service, my customers felt valued, which naturally made them more likely to become repeat customers and recommend me to others. Eventually, I needed to build a team of A players to help me deliver, and well, the rest is kind of history. But none of this could have happened if I hadn't quit obsessing over what I wanted and selfishly focusing on myself. This is what I hope to instill in my children, the idea that you will discover happiness through selfless purpose. Hard to explain to a six-year-old, of course. I'd probably have to use an example of sharing toys or books or something. So I'm telling you instead. Now, the aim of the law of reciprocity should not solely be to receive something in return, but to foster a genuine spirit of giving and kindness. It's about creating a positive cycle of action and response that benefits everyone involved. Now, the thing about the law of reciprocity is it's universal and fluid, which means when you put a deposit into the bank of reciprocity, the withdrawal may not come from the same place. Sometimes the universe will reciprocate goodwill from somewhere unexpected because you've made a deposit here. So don't always expect the goodwill to come back from where you make the deposit. Now, unfortunately, the law of reciprocity can also be abused. Timeshare's a great example. Moron, these aren't free vacations. These are timesharing deals. They're total scams. These timeshare people, they don't stop until they sell you something. They, they prey on the weak and gullible, i.e. you. Possibly an easy target for ridicule, I know, but still an $8 billion a year industry. And a timeshare company may offer you a free weekend stay at a beautiful resort, but the catch is you're required to attend an endless sales presentation of slide deck after slide deck after slide deck, during which the salesperson uses high pressure sales tactics to push you into buying a timeshare. Our number one person in Orlando owns several weeks of timeshare. You know, you should own at least one week yourselves. And if you don't, lie and say you do. <laughs> Don't let these people leave here without buying something. Something. In this situation, the company's not just hoping that you'll feel inclined to reciprocate, they're using the law of reciprocity as a way to apply pressure and make you feel obliged to make a decision that you might not have made otherwise. This is not something I would advise doing. It doesn't work like that, and I believe karma will get you back one way or another. So, what do you want? You want more leads? More projects, more clients, more referrals, more time, more sweet recurring revenue. Whatever you want, you can have it, as long as you help others get what they want. So ask yourself, what can you do to help the people in your community? 
I'm not suggesting going around and collecting litter off the ground or painting over graffiti or helping old people cross the street, although that would be nice. I'm suggesting you find a way to be as helpful as possible to your prospects and the people in your niche. Yes, that's right, we say niche. Niche, like quiche, niche. Without trying to sell them into anything, without a specific end game in mind, and without any other intentions other than simply helping them. Maybe you can start by just answering the questions that you were asking when you started out. I promise it won't be long until the universe rewards you. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to do that, share it with someone you think may need to see it, and subscribe wherever you can. I'm Troy Dean, get over yourself and do some good. Someone once pushed in and there. Unreal. Good stuff.